Welcome everyone to my next Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda. That's right, hopefully this Zelda LP will not take three years. Alright, so yeah. The Legend of Zelda obviously has been LP to death on YouTube. But I have to do it myself. A game I was never real good at, but definitely enjoyed. And this is the one that started all. And like I said before, when I was a kid, I was mainly used to games like Mario Brothers, Contra, Mega Man, the linear games. And this is like one of the early non-linear games, open world games, whatever you want to call them. Some people call this an RPG, which is not. It's an adventure game. And I was never real good at adventure games when I was a kid. I mean, I did do pretty decent in Link to the Past. And Ocarina of Time. Well, Ocarina of Time is not nearly as challenging as this Zelda and Link to the Past. Not this freaking emulator glitch right there. And yeah, so this game was just awesome in every aspect. Challenge, music, graphics aren't that much, but again, graphics don't make a game. And this should be called The Legend of ECW. Let's see if Ron Moore will fit. I don't think it will. I know Ronnie fits. I've done that before. Let's see if Ron Moore will fit. Oh, perfect. Nice. Just like in Dragon's Warrior. Perfect. Dragon's War Dragon Warrior. Dragon's Warrior. Dragon's Warrior. Dragon Slayer and Dragon Warrior. Let's not talk about Dragon Dragon Slayer again. Alright, here we go. Now to get the wooden sword from the old man. There's a new grounds game called Kill the Old Man. I don't know if it's still up or not, but that was pretty cool. Of course you can't do it in this game because he'll he will fight back. Alright, these are tech tights. I forgot. I'm trying to remember the enemies' names here. Buttercups. I call those flying things buttercups. I don't know what the heck they're really called. And the classic theme here. And I had the NES game at at the NES game Atlas when I was a kid and it was cool at the time to see maps of the game I'm sure Skip Rogers had one and I don't have any rupees yet to buy anything so let's get out of here These are Octo Rocks. I think the blue Octo Rocks have five rupees. Not sure. This game came out in 1986, so almost 30 years old. Which, by the way, the NES will be 30 years old. This coming October 18th in North America, if I'm not mistaken. There's the blue auto rocks. Hey, where's my five rupees at? Oh, I'm thinking of the blue spiders. The, the blue tech tech heights, tech tights, whatever the heck they're called. Alright, so let's go ahead and go in the first dungeon here. The the DQ tree. The evil the evil version of the DQ tree. And I forgot what this first dungeon was called. Eagle or something. I forgot. I gotta some research before I continue this LP. These enemies' names. Not that it's important to know each little tiny enemy's name, but it'd be cool to know the dungeon's names. Ah, oh, now I get the clock. Yeah, perfect timing. I hate it when that happens. First dungeon is pretty simple. Oh, jeez, don't tell me I'm gonna die already at these guys. These freaking skeletons look like they're holding silverware, wanting to eat. That non-stop beeping. Probably the only thing I like about this game is the non-stop beeping. At least Ninja Turtles 1, it stopped at a certain ex extent. Like a few seconds, it'll beep when you're about to die, and then that's it. Alright, there we go. Alright, the second key. The 
Dark Nuts. The Hershey's Chocolate. Hershey's Kisses. Here's the old man. I wonder who he really is. I don't care on hit him real quick. <laughs> Had to, sorry. Uh, I wonder if he's really Sa Shahashrila from A Link to the Past, or whatever you pronounce the old guy's name. Shahashrila, Shashura, Shur, Magic Sh Sherazad, whatever his name is. Ah, there's the map. All right. Yeah, I had to get that because in the comment section, skips and go all over me if I don't get the freaking map. But yeah, I was wondering if that could have been an 8 bit Shahashrila from Link to the Past. My friend's dad was like a guru at this game. He All he did was play this game and he would just beat it. And he, he got so good at it, beat it like it was nothing. And don't look for me to finish the second quest. I'm just going to try my best to finish the first quest. The LP would be long enough as it is, and I hopefully won't have another three year Zelda LP. For those of you who remember, Ocarina of Time lasted three years, and let's hope this one don't last that long. Alright, got the bow. Let's get out of here and I believe I get the boomerang in here. It's been a while I'm rusty at this game, but I'm sure you guys have heard of Zelda Dungeon. If I need help, I can just go there. Man. I think you can bomb one of these walls, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, not those. Yeah, I believe you get the boomerang somewhere in this dungeon. This could almost be a long time no play, but I've played this game off and on over the years, and it's a game I'm very familiar with in terms of experience, like the memories I have with it and how I played it when I was a kid. And I just wasted my bombs because I thought you can bomb one of the walls in this dungeon. I'm completely wrong, but I will get some more bombs later. Yes, this is where you get the regular boomerang. What goes around comes around. Alright, yes, the boomerang. My boss time, I don't let th th these freaking evil power glove looking characters grab me. They look like the glove from glove, uh, the hand from glove ball, I think. Alright, here's the first boss. Where Skip will say, here's the first mutant boss. Alright, make short work of him. Now get the heart piece and get the first Triforce. And that is it for part one. Stay tuned for part two of my LP of The Legend of Zelda. Until then, God bless and take care, and may the Triforce be with you. Oh, I fell. Welcome to part two of Time to Play The Legend of Zelda. I am done with the first dungeon, now I'm going to do a little grinding before I head to the second dungeon. These Ultra Rocks, they look like Hubert. From the video game Hubert, I don't know if I mentioned that in part one or not, but they do look like Hubert. These levers right here. They really get my nerves. I still think they look like freaking moving volcanoes. So yeah, I'm going to do a little grinding right here. What I'm going to do is collect a few heart containers. I'm going to upgrade to the white sword. And also get the magical shield before I head into dungeon number two, which is the moon dungeon. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, that's cheap. Man, really? <laughs> Alright, forget it then. Yeah, these blue tech tights, good for grinding. Ah, oh, come on. Not sure that was a waste. Ah. 
Dang it, I always get the clock when I don't really need it. it happens to me in pretty much every video game. Oh, I forgot the little shield I have don't protect me against the Zora's fireballs and dragon, whatever the heck the sea creature is. Oh, cool. I got the bombs already. I was about to go to the shop and buy some. I don't need to do that because I just got some bombs for free. Now we'll go over here and bomb this wall to get a heart container. Mm, decisions, decisions. The heart container. Yeah. Now I have enough to get the white sword. Freaking moblins or goblins or pit bulls shooting arrows at me again, whatever they are. Ah, dang it, I thought I had the boomerang equipped. Lower your prices, will ya? Forget that, we'll go this way. And don't worry, the grinding will not last a long time. I'm gonna cut through some of this here in just a second. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get the blue candle here. And burn some bushes. And get some secret rupees here. Alright, now let me go in here and get this letter. To get to the old woman later on. Now I go to the secret path up here. To get 100 rupees. If these P-hats are leave me alone. Alright, nice. Here we go. Shh! It's a secret to everybody. Nice. There we go. 100 rupees. I now have 162. Oh, yeah. I'm also going to try to get the blue ring before I get into the second dungeon. And let me get another heart piece here. Thank you, you old fart. Alright. Let me go in here and get the magical shield now. Yeah! Alright, now let me go in here and get the white sword. Take it. Watch out. Hey, this freaking blue dog. Blue cocker spaniel. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on now. Jeez. Okay, I'll come back to that later. That's fine. Let me start here and get this letter to the old woman. Now I don't have enough rupees to buy medicine yet. I'll buy it later. Let me go through this other hidden entrance which was a waste of time, so let's get out of here. Okay, there's another hitting, hit, hitting, hidden entrance around here somewhere. Let's see. It's one, two, three, four. I think it's this one right here. Yes, there we go. Another heart container. ECW. You gotta, you gotta have a lot of heart to beat this game. What you gonna do now? Yeah, shooting off your mouth. I almost died right there again. Nice. Get the white sword. Alright, another hidden passage. I think this is 100 rupees right here. Let's see. Yes, ECW. I 
Now I'm going to get the blue ring. Now I'm ready for Dungeon 2. Now what? Alright, here we go. Dungeon Dungeon 2, the Moon Dungeon. Yeah, the snakes, you can definitely grind in this dungeon because the snakes will give you five rupees most of the time. Come on. If not rupees, at least energy. See, again, I get the clock, but I don't need it. Oh, give me five rupees. Come on. Alright, the compass. I don't know if he even got the compass in the first dungeon, but whatever. Okay, might be hidden room in here. Nope. Alright, nice. I don't know if it's hidden, you can probably get to it from another... Yeah, you could, but... Now I got the map. Ah! Snake pit. Again, seriously. Is this a prank? Did the programmers really program the game that way? Don't get the clock until you beat all the enemies. That's trolling. What the heck? More snakes. Should be called the Snake Dungeon instead of the Moon. I mean, you got Eagle Dungeon and whatever else dungeon you got. Why not Snake Dungeon? Alright, here's the Blue Vikings, whatever they are. They have the Magical Boomerang. Jeez, man, I'm getting pwned right here. Good thing I got the blue ring. There we go. Mus magical boomerang. Alright, let's get out of here. Is a boss? Nope. Fire caterpillar, whatever it's called. It's like a big sandbox. Here we go, boss time. And that's it. All right.
right, and that is it for level two. See you guys in part three for the third dungeon, or level three, whatever you want to call it. God bless, and take care. Welcome to part three of Time to Play The Legend of Zelda. This is Ron Moore, and now I'm going to head to the third dungeon. The Manji dungeon, or yeah, Manji, Jumanji, whatever it's called. But before I head to there, let me do a little more grinding. And I'm not going to do as much grinding as I did in part two. Right here is probably only 10 or 30 rupees. Yeah. Alright, let me go in here. Thirty rupees that time, a little bit more. Now here we are. In the third dungeon. Manji. What is a manji anyway? Did I get the first key? Yes, this time I got the clock first, instead of last. Now I get to kill all the Zoles or Zoles, Zoles, whatever they're called. Or giant milk duds, whatever they are. Alright. <laughs> of course, I get the clock last that time, but oh well. Ah, the dark nuts. They drive you nuts, cause especially the blue ones later on in the game. Jeez. Alright, more bombs. Grab the compass. Hey, a skipper say, use your compass and good luck. Jeez, one, two, three, five, dark nuts. Man. Dark nuts. Why are they called dark nuts? They're not really dark, they're like orange. I guess be racist if they were like black and they call them dark nuts. I guess people cry racism. <laughs> Just like this dungeon, when I get the map in a minute, you'll you'll see they shape like a swastika or whatever it's called, the Nazi symbol. Heard there was pretty controversial in this game back in the day. It was controversial? Just freaking dark nuts. Jeez, man. I have the magical shield. How can they just easily hit me? And I got a longer sword than they do. And it seems like they're kicking my butt. At least I got the clock right there to help me out. All right, now I get the raft, and I will need this before I enter the fourth dungeon. Freaking bubbles now, they hit you, you can't use your sword. Not bubbles and trailer park boys. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on! There we go. I think I maxed out on bombs anyway. Go to this one next. Zelda man again. Yes, I did. Now shut up. There, there's a sword right there. The old man looks just like you, coincidentally. The other key. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Let's see, there's a secret room up here. Nope. Maybe over here. Hopefully down here. What a waste of time that was. Let's move on. Uh, 
Ah, oh, jeez, really? You can't skip through this a second time? That's what you get for wasting my time. Now shut up. Alright, here we go. Where to next? Uh, this room over her. Yes, the map. Oh, there's a swastika. Controversy. Video flagged. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Here we go. The boss. I don't forgot the boss's name here. Some giant, uh, enemy crab, whatever. Boom. Oh, whoa, already got the heart piece. I guess he appeared right in front of me. Nice. Now I got the Triforce, or the other piece of the Triforce. So that is the end of part three. See you guys in part four. Till then, God bless and take care. Welcome to part four of Time to Play The Legend of Zelda. Ah, dang it, I meant to use the boomerang right there and use the bomb by mistake. I am going to head to Dungeon 4, the Snake Dungeon. I saw the Snake Dungeon, fail. Alright, yes, got the clock. I got the clock last. <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, got lucky right there. I'm going to go ahead and buy the arrow. Let me get the heart. What the heck? Okay, I had the raft. Go ahead and get what? I'm supposed to run across there with the raft to get the heart. What is going on here? I don't have to select it. it should just by default take me across to there. Oh wait. I I'm thinking of the step ladder, not the raft, idiot. Man, that was stupid. I'm thinking of the step ladder. And this, I think, is where I can get a heart piece or a heart container. Yes, thank you. All right. Now it's time to head to Dungeon 4. And here we are. Dungeon Quattro. The Snake. Will you fight Jake the Snake Roberts? record for me. These keys, trying to guard the key. Uh, fail. Ah, uh, it's getting dark. Try to, time to use the trusty blue, uh, candle. Man, you're home by these 
blue lion hopping bat things. I forgot what they were called. Dang it again. Wow, I'm about to get a fifth key. And I always switch back to my boomerang because I'm tired of accidentally using the bomb and wasting it and by instinct I use the boomerang. Jeez, again, I'm tired of toggling. Well, I guess I could leave it on the candle. I can't. You can only use a candle one time per room. I wish I had the red candle. But I always, by instinct, want to switch it to the boomerang, the magical boomerang. The ECW boomerang. And finally, it doesn't get dark, it stays light. Hit it. Really? You ever notice when you get hit, you flash the same colors as when you're using the clock? Oh no, not not the light likes. I don't like them. I gotta watch out for the sword uh, stealers. I forgot what these enemies were called. I know that's a Zool over there. Now it's time for me to get the step ladder so that I can climb the step ladder to success in this game. Oh, we got hit the same time as I got it. Alright, time to get the compass and the map. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot I got the step ladder. Duh, use it. Like how in these Zelda games, you can automatically use those weapons by default instead of going to the daggum item screen and those Zelda games for the CDI that never happened. To say those games are non canon is an understatement. They never happened. Alright. Remember where to go here. Was it Daggum map or compass? It's dark again. here. Of course it gets dark. But I can still see the compass. Alright, got the compass. As this old guy right here tells me something that I already know, I'm going to just ignore him and move on to here. Where the room gets dark again. Forget the map because I can't find it. I don't need it. Shut up, Skip Rogers. We'll get the key here and just head to the boss. See, that's messed up. Come on. Alright, destroy these douche bags and then I go to the boss. There we go. Alright, fight the three-headed dragon here. Better fill up on energy and stuff because I might die. Alright. Ah, dang it. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Is it three-headed? Oh, I was only two-headed dragon. Oh, I got lucky there. All right. Well, nice. Pwned him pretty quick. And that is the end of Dungeon 4, the Snake Dungeon. I'll see you guys in Part 5. Until then, God bless and take care. Welcome to Time to Play The Legend of Zelda Part 5. This is Ron Moore, and now I'm going to head to the Lizard Dungeon, which will be the fifth dungeon. But first, of course, I got to do a little bit of grinding. Let me buy some more medicine here. Now I can get this heart. And let me get the power bracelet while I'm at it. And one more little thing to get before I head to the fifth dungeon. The ECW sword. Alright, now time to go up the mountain. Death Mountain. To get to dungeon five. And here we are. All right, the lizard. Ah, these little cat things again. Man, you can't knock these back. These are one of the enemies that won't get knocked back. So they keep coming at you, even though you hit it. So you gotta watch out for that. Alright. And I did buy a key. I didn't show that in this footage, but I cut that out, but I bought a key since I had enough rupees to do so. I remember playing Zelda years ago and getting to the last dungeons, and then, especially the last dungeon, not having a key to get through a door, and then I'm trying to kill enemies left and right, trying to look for another key. If I buy some, I have some extra ones, don't have to deal with that when I get that far. Now I have five keys. As I destroy mummies or whatever those things are. Oh, jeez, this guy. Let's see if I can. Yep, nice. Oh, jeez, I was already in here. <laughs> oh, man. It is annoying. I mean, it don't take long, but still. One more thing to bomb. You are the bomb, old man. Alright. Of course, it gets dark again. Oh, jeez. Dang it, I don't have enough to kill all of them. Ah! Oh, it's a waste, because when I go back in here later on, I think they're going to respawn. Have to get some more bombs in here later on. Yes, the map. Zools or Zoles, whatever they're called. Zool, isn't that like the main villain in Ghostbusters? Now, two fairies. Not two fairies, two fairies. Oh, I need one. Yes, another key. Dang it. Alright. 
Of course, let's get dark again. Ah, oh, jeez, speaking of dark, the dark nuts are here. Now they're dropping nuts. Should be easy though, now they got the ECW sword and full power, or full, full energy. Ah. Nice, the compass. Get a little tired switching back and forth to my boomerang. Have to use the blue candle a lot in these dungeons. Things are annoying. All right, I'm gonna skip to here and get to the whistle. Oh no, the blue dart nuts. Jeez. Jeez, they are pony me. Oh yes, thank God. No! Boomerang! Alright. Which way to go? Try down here. Another key. Ah, more dark nuts. Jeez. Nice. Nice, here we go. Got the whistle. All right. You bet. Nice, 12 bombs. Now that guy is the bomb. All right. Ah, you're stuck. Now what? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Pwned. Now it's boss time. Now what? No, hit down. I hate when you gotta go all the way to the right and select it instead of down. That's stupid. Alright, here we go. I love the warp music from Mario 3 there. Alright, here we go. Pwned. Alright. That's the end of the lizard dungeon. And there's the fifth Triforce piece. All right. See you guys in part six. God bless and take care. Welcome to Time to Play The Legend of Zelda part six, where I am heading to the Dragon Dungeon, which would be the sixth dungeon. This is really where the dungeons really, really get challenging. And of course, each one gets harder and harder. But this one is the one I really... We get pwned a lot. This is where we really get pwned a lot. When I was a kid and into my adult years. Very challenging dungeon, but we are going to get a cool weapon in the dungeon. So here we go. And now these Death Mountain rocks or boulders are... Trying to fall on top of me. But I got the step ladder there. So I can take a quick shortcut. To the sixth dungeon, which is in the graveyard or near the graveyard. All 
Alright, so we are here. Just going to go up this ladder here, or ladder, or whatever the heck you want to call it. Hill. Get past that douchebag, and now we are in Dungeon 6. These guys really annoy me. These douchebags. But for some reason, you kill the right one, they all die. I guess you killed their leader. They all die with them. Alright, got the compass already. Destroy these bats. Nice, another key. Oh, now this is where it gets frustrating. The light likes the blue and orange mages, or whatever the heck you call these guys. Man, we're getting pwned right here. I'm, tr I'm being real careful in avoiding the light likes because I don't want to lose my magical shield. And those blue ones, these blue mages, man, they're, they really are a pain because they actually move around a lot quicker than the orange ones do. Alright, time to get out of here. Nice! Thank God for the clock. Timing is everything. Now they're not so tough. Alright, destroy this three-headed dragon. We fought him in one of the earlier dungeons. I forgot which one it was. He had two heads. Now it's three. Nice. Now I know not the light likes again. Jeez, come here. Ah. Come on, come here. Jeez, really douchebags, watch out. There we go. Alright, now I got the map. Do you see the I guess supposed to be a dragon? Alright, oh man, these guys. Now you see what I'm talking about, this is where it gets challenging. And man, I'm about to die. Nice. Right, let's go down the stairs. Alright, time to get the weapon of the dungeon. The magic wand. Now if I can hit by those things that stop you from using the sword for a few seconds, at least I can still use the wand. However, the wand does not work on those mages. I guess you can't use their own weapon against them. Ah, oh, jeez, of course it has to get dark. Oh boy. See, you can't use it on them. But you can use it on the light likes. Yeah, I don't like like where this is going. Better use my health. Nice.
and that's a clue for Dungeon 7. Ah. Dang it, really? Just quick cut through that. Ah, oh, here we go, watch out. What? They can walk through the doorway? Oh, come on, man. Man, these guys are cheap. Man, these guys are real trolls in this game. I'm gonna call them trolls to the mages. These trolls right here. What is that red stuff anyway? Like, we use a step ladder to cross over these things. I mean, some dungeons is blue and this dungeon is red. Is it really lava right here or. And the other dungeons is it water? But whatever, anyway. Alright, yay, let's get dark again. Alright, more bombs. <laughs> Clock just for this one enemy. Alright, at least it's not getting dark. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, more trolling. These guys should be the boss of the dungeon. Ah, oh, I better use my health again. Glad I have more health to use. I'm glad I bought the one where you can use it twice. Alright, now what? How do you like like me now? There we go. Let's skip a call it using the Wand of Wonder. Or the Staff of Power. Oh man. Come on, jeez. I'm being trolled right here in this dungeon. Get the clock, yes, thank God. Where is that boss? Jeez, man. That's worth a try. Oh, great. Hey, at least the trolls aren't in here. Nice. Oh, great, they're back, of course. Forget this. Thank God I got a key. Uh, here's the boss. Goma, Gama, whatever. Here with the arrow. Yes, all right. Got them Rambo skills right there with the arrow. All righty, that's the end of the Dragon Dungeon, the Dungeon 6. See you guys in Part 7. Till then, God bless and take care. Welcome back to part 7 of Time to Play The Legend of Zelda. I just got through beating the Double Dragon Dungeon where I got trolled to death. And now I'm heading to Dungeon 7, The Demon Dungeon. Ooh. That must mean it's real scary if it's called The Demon Dungeon. It's not too far away from here, just gotta get out of this uh, graveyard part of the game. And then somewhere around these woods right here is Dungeon 7. And I will need the whistle to gain access to the dungeon. You know, what? you know, before I do that, I need to go buy medicine first. 
I need to buy medicine in case I need it. Because Dungeon 7, from what I remember, it's been years since I've been there, but Dungeon 7... If Dungeon 6, it, if I was getting my butt kicked in Dungeon 6 like I did, then... <laughs> Dungeon 7 is going to be hard, or harder, so... I got both medicines now. In case I need it. So now let's go ahead and head to Dungeon 7. Get my flute equipped, or the whistle, whatever it's called. We gotta be arguing. It's a whistle, not a flute. Lols. And there we go. Dungeon 7. Yeah, I never figured that out on my own. I think I watched my friend's dad discover that when I was a kid. Even though there's clues in the game, but you know, I still didn't uh, understand the clue. Now we're in Dungeon 7. The Demon. Oh, these guys. I remember these guys. Or these things. I don't know. Half of the names. I don't know the names of half the enemies in this game. Need to go to ZeldaDungeon.net and find out. Yeah, this dungeon might be easier in some way, because at least the Dark Nuts and the Floating Mages Wizards with, with those magic wands aren't in this dungeon, because those are a pain to deal with. These guys are easy. Well, I've done maxed out on bombs. I can't get any more anyway. Let me go over here. Ah, oh, jeez. Like I said, it's been years since I've been in this dungeon. So, yeah, I am rusty at it. Maybe y'all come back to me. Alright, so now we got both the blue and red and orange boomerang brothers, or whatever they're called. These guys, uh, that guy up there has the compass. Wait, I've, I've been in here, <laughs> idiot. Get the magic wand here, because those douchebag floating balls are going to stop me from using my sword. Oh, this guy again. What the heck? Get my whistle. Come on, hit him. There we go. Come here. Oh, nice. Kill two birds with one stone. Ah, oh, jeez! I forgot. A quick cut to here and get the food for that dude. What? I gotta play the flute again? Come on, it should have stayed dried. It's kind of dummy. I play the flute again to get back in there. But anyway, now that I got the food, the the freaking turkey, whatever the heck this thing is, I can give it to that guy. You feed him, he'll let you pass. 
forgot all about that. Speaking of douchebag, y'all want some of me? I'm trying to get past y'all with no trouble. I don't want no trouble. I just want to get to my destination. You douchebags want to fight? That's what you get. Alright. Well, jeez. Now I can't just pass by here. I gotta kill all these enemies again to make the door open. Alright, there we go. All right, here we go. Give him the food, so that he'll eat it. Shut up and let me go. All right, the map's in here. All right, there we go. Now I gotta get the item in the dungeon before I head to the boss. These boomerang vikings are everywhere in this level. Is there a secret right here? Oh, no there's not. Yes, another key. Let me see here. Not sure if there's a secret path in here. No. Hopefully right here. Dang it! Try over here. I think some rupees are over here. Yes. Nice. Alright. There we go. Trying to remember where to go next. Where is that dungeon item? Nice. There we go. Jeez, come on. Alright, get the magic wand. Alright, there we go. Ah, now the clock so shows up. Really? Alright. Yes, there we go. Got the red candle. Now these enemies can't hold a candle to me. Now it's on. Time to find the boss. I forgot who the boss is in this dungeon. No. Over here. Of course not, because I didn't hear the boss growling. Or roaring. What? Roar, 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 roaring. Or roar, roar, roar. I 
gotta fight him again? Well, that's true. I did leave the dungeon. Is this the same one I just destroyed earlier? Or is there two of them? Or, or is this a... I don't know. But anyway. Pwn him real quick. Jeez. Get fast. Come on. Come on now. Oh, man. Nope. I'm going to kill these guys. See if I need to get anything in here, a key or whatever. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, I gotta use these wisely. I'm running low. One more left. Make it count. Make it count. Yes! Thank God. <laughs> Just to get more bombs. Oh well. Where is that daggum boss? Hmm. Aha! Okay, now I remember what to do here. Gotta destroy all the master hands or wall masters, whatever they're called. Welcome to time to play glove ball for the NES. Okay, I, I gotta watch out. I don't want to be taken back to the beginning of the level. Come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think they're all dead. Yes, alright. Now it's boss time. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's right, it is the first dungeon boss. Huh, I wonder why they did that. Maybe they're running out of memory. Or ideas. I don't know, but anyway, that is the end of part 7. I will see you guys in part 8. Until then, God bless and take care. Welcome to Time to Play. Uh, watch out! Man, you don't hit somebody when they're trying to make their introduction. It's messed up, man. No, shoot this way, you idiot. Anyways, I was saying, welcome to Time to Play The Legend of Zelda Part 8. This is Ron Moore, and I am now in the 8th dungeon. The Lion Dungeon. If you say this dungeon's easy, you be lying. Fail. Okay, gotta fight this blue enemy giant crab again. He got pwned pretty quickly. And in this dungeon, I gotta get two items. I'm about to get the first one here real quick. And this dungeon is hardcore. You got dark nuts everywhere. The, the little circle thing that freaking stop you from using your sword momentarily. Yeah, so this dungeon is going to be tough. Oh, thank God. I got the clock right off hand. Skip Rogers will have you believe that the fourth dungeon is tough, but he is wrong. The eighth dungeon is. All right. I disposed of all of them. Now let's go down here. Get the first item in this dungeon. Now I got the book of ECW. The book of ECW enables my magic wand to shoot fire or not shoot fire but whenever it hits something it catches something on fire so I can now use that to light up the dungeon when it gets dark instead of those candles alright jeez again alright
bombs away. Oh, well, nope. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is great. Thanks a lot, Nintendo. The four things in the corner are shooting fireballs at, or whatever balls at me, and plus the blue dark nuts for crying out loud. Now, I told you this dungeon is hardcore. Man, jeez. Dang it, freaking blocking my sword attacks. Get the fairy. Alright. Very good. Alright, yes. Stick and move, stick and move. Ow! There we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Should call this the Dark Nut Dungeon. Jeez. I wonder why they call them Dark Nuts instead of Dark Knight. I guess it's, that's be too cliche. Alright, one more to go. Chase, come here. Alright. I'm not sure. I think I'll go up here. I don't even have the map yet. Oh man. Yeah, this dungeon is a lot of fun. Jeez, come on, let's go. Alright, finally, let's get out of here. Ugh. And you can't attack the Dark Nuts with the wand. They're impervious to it. Ah, keep forgetting. out on bombs, so that don't matter, but let's go in here. Get to the other side of the dungeon, or wherever it's going to take me. I still don't have the map of compass yet, so I already don't know where to go, because I, I don't know this dungeon by memory. Dang it, man. These freaking rabbits, wherever they are. It's rabbit season. More like ECW season. Alright, let's cut through that. And Robin, I kill the last one, I get the clock. Thanks. Time is of the essence. Oh, man. Oh, this is not blue. Right, let's just skip through that. I don't want to fight all of them. Okay, I think that's a clue for another bomb upgrade. I think he gets 16 at the most in this game. Right. Whoa, I'm at the bo the boss already. Gleok, I think is his boss's name. This time, four heads. I haven't even got the map or compass yet. How the heck? Oh man, I can't beat this dungeon yet. I don't have the the other item. Well, let me get the Triforce here, then re-enter the dungeon and start again so I can get the other item, because I'm, man.
yeah, cause I, I don't know where to go here. I'm gonna have to really find the map or something. I guess I should listen to Skip Rogers more often. Oh, there's another key. As if I don't have enough already. Jeez, I got six. Oh, get the clock, get the clock. Jeez, watch out, man. Oh, get the clock. Oh, I wasn't say that's useless, but it's not. They'll freaking stand still. Shut up. Pwn the bat. All right. Oh, come on. Ah. I want to bomb down there for There's no more space on the on the map. You can't see the map, but obviously you can't go any further down. Well, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Watch me get through this. I'm trying to figure it out. Dang, I wish you kill those rabbits wherever they are with the with the wand, but you can't. I really don't know what I'm doing here. As far as how to get that last last item, at least have the compass here. But that's useless because I mean I'm not gonna need it. <laughs> I already beat the boss. It doesn't tell me where the item is. Geez, so many dark nuts here. The game's lagging. And these ball, these balls coming after me too. All right, nice. Not nice. Oh wait, well nice. I'll just go through here. I don't want to fight them. Oh, okay. Gama's back this time. This will take three arrows. Jeez. Come on, Goma. Look me in the eye. Ha. That's one. Two. Ah. Oh, come on. I got him. Or her, whatever it is, Queen Goma. Nice. That is the clue to get to Ganon's Tower or Dungeon, whatever it's called. And of course, that was a waste of time and a waste of bombs. Alright, what to do next? There's another key. Nice. Oh, nice. A key and bombs. Now watch me waste them here. Jeez, let me not this room. I can't even see where I'm going. Oh, 
of course, I wasted them. You know, they say don't spend it all in one place. Well, I just did. Like a complete idiot, alright. Ah, oh, jeez, not in here again, shut up! Alright, let's cut through all that, and I finally found where I need to be, thank God. Gotta kill these enemies real quick, and then go down the stairs and get the second item. I like to be slick. At least it's an easy target. Alright, down we go. And there's the second item in Dungeon 8. The ECW key. And that key will enable me to open up any locked door in any dungeon. Of course, the only dungeon I need to go to next is the final dungeon, Ganon's Dungeon. And we will see that in the final part. Until then, God bless and take care. Welcome to Time to Play Discuss, The Legend of Zelda. This is the final part. And before I get into Death Mountain, I better have full energy first, because I am going to need both potions and go... In oh, shoot, I'm about to get shot. No, oh, get that out of there. Freaking blue, evil blues clue rejects over there. All right, now I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, let me equip my bomb. Bomb spectacle rock here. Now, we are in the ECW dungeon. All right, the old man is not here because we have the Triforce. And this is, of course, by far the hardest dungeon in the game. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. Alright, we go down the stairwell. Uh, I don't like these like likes. I know I've made those puns before about these things, but I really don't like him here because I don't want to lose my magical shield. Here's the wizards, or whatever they're called again. Jeez. Oh, oh, there we go. Our pain. Hey, you can see the laggage going on. You know they transform, teleport, whatever. Apologize for the lag lagage, laggage. All right, the compass. There we go. Right, let's get out of here. There's a Pantra or Pantry? I forgot this enemy's name. We gotta kill all the flying things around it that they're surrounding it and then and then kill it. Attack it. Now you can attack it. Alright, there we go. What? Oh, well. I thought I moved the blocks here. I guess not. Okay, thank you.
Jeez, man, I'm about to have to use one of my potions already. Ugh. Yeah, let me fill up on energy real quick. Yeah, just cut through that slow process. This ain't Mega Man 4. Alright. Going down the stairwell here. Oh, alright. See, I'm glad I got the magical key. Those black things I just killed, they look like... They kind of remind me of the evil demons in Ghost with Patrick Swayze. I guess because they're black. Wow, that's racist. Oh, well, I already got the magical key, so I don't need that. I do need to beat this thing in order to get down to the next stairwell. Not sure where I'm going here. It, man, it's been a while since I've been in Death Mountain, but man, it's a big dungeon. I remember really loving this track when I was a kid. I thought it really fit the dungeon perfectly. Very intimidating. I like how they changed it from the other dungeon tracks because it's the last dungeon. It should be more, well, it should be different and more, uh, I guess, more sinister sounding. Yes. No. Freaking Final Fantasy mages. Jeez. Yes, there we go. The first item to acquire in this dungeon. The ECW arrows. Alright, so let's just cut through here. Or cut to here. Because that's not going to cut it. I need one more item. Well, I don't really need the next item. I just got to... It will really help. Okay, I just refilled our energy again. That's it. Man, uh, oh. I don't know if we're going to make it through this dungeon, or at least not without dying at least once. Or ten times. Alright, going down to the next stairwell here. Of course, more, more wizards. What are they called? Wizards? I forgot technically what they're called. It's called them wizards. Or trolls, I think, as I called them in the, was it Dungeon 6. No, use the bomb, dang it. <laughs> Equip the bomb. Ah. Ah, there we go. Dang it, take I had to waste the bombs in all the other places just to get it right. Alright. These light lights, man, they're very little disgusting looking, especially in Ocarina of Time. They look like I think I mentioned this before. Or they look like I don't know, dancing lasagna or something, I don't know. Uh, oh wait. Am I Ganon already? No, I'm not ready yet. No, I didn't expect to get to Ganon this soon. Oh boy. I get, what about this thing? If I can't beat this thing, I'm going to beat Ganon. Oh, yes, get the fairy out help. A little. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. We're going to try here. And we got the silver arrow, so... Silver, sil silver, 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 Anderson Silva, silver arrow. Oh, jeez, I was never good at this. Dang, it took off so much energy, man. Well, I hit him twice already. They got him like maybe one more time and then shoot him the silver arrow. Oh, shoot. Ah, come on. I knew it. All right, let's try this again. You know what? Let me go get some more potions before I do that. 
I'm gonna try to get as many hearts as I can, or as much energy as I can without having to use those potions. Jeez, man. I'm getting pwned right here. Oh, come on! Alright, well. I'll just have to do. I better use it right now. Use one of them right now. Alright, here we go. Round two. Round two. Fight! Right, more killer lasagnas and these burnt milk duds. I'm tired of these bubbles, too. What are they called? More trolls. I guess they're on patrol. I still haven't got that map yet. Oh, nice. Alright. Oh! Look at them skills. these lasagnas. Tired of hearing it because I've been in this dungeon <laughs> for so long. I'm gonna be having nightmares about this dungeon tonight. Having nightmares about Ganon poning me and these trolls everywhere and these little chocolate chip things. here. Forgot where the map was. And I'll never doubt Skip Rogers again. has something to do with this dungeon. Seriously, fight those black things. The Zoles, I think they're called. I imagine those things just coming at you in real life. <laughs> that really is freaky. Zelda experts are watching. No, don't bomb that, you idiot. No, go this way, you idiot. Ah, shut up, you idiot. There's another idiot move. Alright, let's try in here. Yay, darkness. More milk duds and lasagnas. That's a nasty combination. That will make you sick. Just like this dungeon right here is making me sick. I want to hurry up and beat it. Ah. Going in circles, of course. I know where to go now. 
Not really. Let's cut through the excess stuff. There's already enough footage of me going in circles around here. Ah, Pantra's back. Blue caterpillar now, whatever it's called. Oh, just give me the map. That would really help out. Let me guess, I've been in here. I think. Ah, yes! Shut up! Oh, I'm not gonna stab him this time. I'm getting tired of stabbing him. More trolls here, and I'm about to have to. Oh, jeez. I ain't got no more potions. Oh, great. Oh, well, that's nice. Alright. Yeah, I think this is someplace different. Potion. All right. Oh yes, thank God. I wish you'd freeze those things shooting at me. That'd be cool. Why don't I freeze that? All right. Cheese more lasagnas. I really am gonna hate, end up hating lasagnas after playing this. I mean, jeez. Lasagna did make me sick one time. It's probably because I ate it when it was, I don't know if it was spoiled or cold. I forgot what it was, but it did make me sick. And the, but not as much as these lasagnas right here are making me sick. I'm not Garfield. Finally, let's go in this room to the left. Yeah, you guys are a lot of fun. is somewhere I haven't been yet. Jeez. Alright. Oh wait, that was stupid. Let's, I guess I'll just run through it. Hope you guys are enjoying watching me fail here. I'm glad I can entertain you somehow. I'm trying to think here. I think I've been I've been down there. I've been down this stairwell. Oh, try to be real careful not to lose a magical shield. I worked hard for that shield. Spent my hard earned rupees. Alright, here's again again. Round two. Let's hope we look for the other item in this game. 
Maybe I throw that letter at him. Well, can, I, can I throw the book of magic at him? The book of ECW, just like they did in the Phillips CDI games? Just throw a book at him, that'd be hit. No, it's not that easy this time. Not that easy with this game. And. Alright, wish me luck. Yeah, that's looking good so far. No, oh, what a fight that was. That's it. That is it. Now I'm gonna get the item I've been trying to get the Red Ring of Death. More like the Red Ring of ECW. Now it's on. Now what? Bring it on. I believe you hit him four times and then you gotta shoot, shoot him with this ECW arrow. Alright, one more time. Yes, shoot him. Yes, pwned. What? EC dub. EC dub. Try force of power. All right. Now we got all the tri forces, and there's Princess Zelda. Rescue her, and that is it. I thought she was gonna say the Hero of Time. I forgot this is not Ocarina of Time. Hey, <laughs> still the lag is there when it's flashing. Well, at least that saved some people from having seizures, I guess. Alright, this ends the story, and no, I am not going to do the second quest. And yeah, as you guys seen, I did use ECW mode. At least I got through most of the game without using ECW mode. But I had a lot of help from ZeldaDungeon.net because I'm not good with this game, so... Hence the quick cuts here and there. So yeah, thanks to Zelda Dungeon and their awesome walkthrough on YouTube and on the website. So yeah, there's a second quest, and I had a hard enough time with the first quest, I'm not going to do a second quest, so yeah. So there's your ending. The ending's kind of lame, could have been better, but oh well. Still a great game. And yeah, so at least this Zelda LP did not last three years. So, my final thoughts on The Legend of Zelda, the original one. So yeah. Um... I enjoyed doing this LP. It went a lot smoother than I thought. Again, I had a lot of help from ZeldaDungeon.net because if I was playing this game without any help, this LP would not be done by now. I was never good at this game, so i never beaten it legit, even now. I came close to beating it legit. Well, I mean, other than help, having help from Zelda Dungeon, what I mean is without Game Genie codes or ECW mode, whatever you want to call it. So, but I did enjoy doing this LP. The Legend of Zelda, I remember my friend's dad playing this when I was a kid, and he would just, I mean, he beat it like it was nothing. He was so good at it. And me, never never so good at it. I'm good at Zelda games like Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past, and that's probably it. And for those of you who have not, not seen it yet, I did do a low-budget review of A Link to the Past back in 2011, I think it was, and an LP of A Link to the Past on the SC2K channel, shameless plug. And it was pretty cool because uh, I really wanted to do an LP of this game. And so The Legend of Zelda, the one that started it all, very challenging game, very fun, very addicting, very challenging. I just think I just said that, very challenging. Repeat, repeat myself here. Um, yeah, so um, now I could say oh, great graphics. Of course, not, not, not good graphics because of the way it's uh, designed, but it didn't have to have good graphics to be good. Music, nice classic soundtrack. And yeah, so the replay value is definitely awesome. Even though it's never good at this game, it is one of my favorites. I have to give this a 8.5 out of 10. Great Zelda game. And yeah, so that's all I got to say about that. Very fun to do this LP, and thank you guys very much for watching. That is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.